Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you top 12 Android note taking apps for 2023. So let's start. The first note taking app is Samsung Notes. So in Samsung Notes, you can easily drag any image or you can easily drag any text from your internet browser into your notes. So what you have to do, just take out this edge panel, open the internet browser in the split screen and here you can directly drag any image. For example, I want to drag this image. I just press and hold it like this I can easily drag it like that and I can change its size if I want I can also rotate it the next thing is you can also drag any text so for example I open uh, this website and here for example I have this text so what I will do I will just press and hold it like this I just select it and then here I can easily drag I press and hold and I can easily drag it here like this. In Samsung Notes, you can also annotate your PDF file. So you just have to go back and here you see this option of PDF plus. So you just select it, import your PDF file. For example, I have this PDF file and then I press done. So now I can easily annotate this PDF file. So for example, if I want to write something, I can write over here. If I want to highlight something, I can easily highlight it okay and then if you want you can create any shape for example I want to create some kind of arrow I can easily do it in Samsung notes you can also invite collaborators so here is the option for collaborators so you can create a link and then you can share that link with your friends or with your colleagues and they can also participate in your note taking in Samsung notes you can also do the categorization so here you can create your folder according to your semesters and in those folders you can also create your subfolders and in those subfolders you can create your notes in Samsung notes you can do voice recording of your lectures so here is the insert icon select it and then here is the voice recording just select it and then you can record your lecture and in the meantime you can also take your notes the next thing is once you finish with your note taking you can export it in six different formats just select these three dots and here is the save as file option so here you can see you can export your notes as pdf file as notes file as word powerpoint image or text file if you want to sync your notes you just have to go back go to settings and here you can see you can sync your notes with samsung cloud the next note taking app is evernote so in evernote you have an amazing dashboard where you have your notes scratch pad and recently captured documents images or audio files for example you have an idea and you just want to write it you can just write in this scratch pad okay and then it has an amazing templates option if you just select this new and then select note then it will open a new note and here it is giving you different suggestion about different templates so you can select project plan essay research daily reflection lecture notes for example i select lecture notes so here is the lecture notes template with details notes summary material if uh, you want to use this template just select it and here you can see here is your template for your notes now in Evernote you can also insert table so here is the insert option and then here is the table option so for example I select this table so here you can see the table is now inserted and now I can use it in Evernote you can also take the handwritten notes so here is the sketch option just select it once you select it here you can see it is showing you different pen tools and then you can write over here and then if you want you can also use the highlighter option so they are highlighter as well then if you want you can also use this shape tool so you can create new shapes okay so here you can see and once you finish you can just press done and then it will insert it into your notes the next note taking app is Microsoft OneNote so in Microsoft OneNote you can do the categorization according to notebooks and in each notebooks you can create sections and in each section you can create your notes so in the Microsoft OneNote you have these handwritten tools so for example you select this pen tool so you can write on your notes you can also 
also use this highlighter tool as well in microsoft OneNote, you can also insert your voice recording so here is the voice recording option so you can record your lectures and then you can also insert images or documents and then you can use this tags option so you can see there are different tags option available you can also insert images and text directly from google into your notes as well so i just take out this edge panel i open the internet browser in split screen so here i have different images for example i want to insert this image into my notes so i just press and hold it like this and i can directly drag into my notes so here you can see this is how it looks like now if you want you can also insert text i open uh, this website okay and then here i will show you i will just select this text so i just select this text and then i can just drag and drop it okay like this and then i can insert it into my notes once you finish with your note taking in microsoft one note you can export it as pdf or as plain text you just select these three dots and then here is the share page option so here you can share it as pdf or as plain text you can also sync your notes in microsoft one note you just select these three dots and here you see this option of sync so you just select it and you can sync your notes as well the next note taking app is touch notes so it is a complete note taking app where you can do your categorization according to the folders so here is the folder according to my semester and inside those folders i can create subfolders according to my subjects and inside those subfolders i can create my notes so here we have all note taking tools you can also merge your pdf file into your notes so you just select the settings icon select this option of merge pdf and here you can select your pdf for example i select this pdf file i select all and then i merge to my notes and then i press ok so here is my pdf file now if i want to write something in my pdf file i can write i can use the highlighter option so here you can see i can use the highlighter option as well and then you can also do the backup of your notes you just select these three lines and here is the cloud option so here you have five different option for backup you have other tools also available in touch notes so you just have to go into settings icon and here you can see there are a lot of other tools option available for example you want to select this laser pointer so i just select it and now for example you are making a presentation so you can highlight anything in your presentation using the laser pointer option as well the next note taking app is notion so notion is best for project management building workflows and note taking now you can use ai to make your notes as well for example i select this new option and then here i tap and here you see this ai option i just select it so now you can ask ai to write anything for example i ask ai to make notes for me so i will just write here make notes about heart anatomy so i will just write here so i just press enter and now you can see the ai is start writing over here so here are the results about the ai writing so here you can see so here are all the results if you want to continue you just select this continue writing and it will write more about heart anatomy so here you can see so this is how you can use AI to make your notes in Notion. The next note taking app is NoteShelf. So in NoteShelf you can do your categorization and then in NoteShelf you have amazing templates option available. You just select this new notebook and if you select it and then here you see this option of free downloads. Just select it. Once you select it here you can see in NoteShelf club you have different option. For example you have this UX designers, cover packs, basic papers, planners, educational so different templates option available so if we go inside uh, the notes so here you can see you can take your notes and then you have different pen options here you can see different pen option different thickness option and then you can also use the highlighter you can also use this shape tool if you want to create different shapes and then in uh, your notes you can also insert the audio recording you just select this plus icon and here you see this audio option just select it so now you can record your lectures and in the meantime you can also take your 
nodes. If you want to backup, there are five different options available. So if you just go back and then you select the settings icon and here you see this option of cloud and backup, just select it. So here you can see you have Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Evernote and WebDAO. The next note taking app is Zodo. So guys, Zodo is basically PDF annotation app, but you can also create notes and then you can save them as PDF. So here you can see I can create a blank file and here I can take my notes okay so here you can see I can use my pen I can use the highlighter option if I want to highlight something and then for example if you want to draw different kind of shapes there is a draw option okay so here you can see you can draw different shapes okay so here is the circle option and then once you finish with your work you can also save it as PDF so here is the share option and then the document is saved as PDF file and then you can share in different platforms the next note taking app is Flexil. So in Flexil, you can do the categorization according to your folders and you can create subfolders and in those folders, you can create your notes. So here you have all your tools available for note taking. You have your highlighter tool. If you want to highlight something, you have the eraser tool. The next thing is you can also export your text from a PDF file and insert into your notes. So you just have to go back and I open a PDF file. So so I will open this PDF file. So here you can see, for example, I have this text and I want to extract it. Now what I will do, I just select this pop up note icon. So here is my note. Now what I have to do is I just select the text. For example, I want to select this part of the text. So what I will do, I just press and hold it like this. Okay, so I will just press and hold and then I start selecting these lines. So I just select it till here. Now what I will do, I can just drag and drop it into my notes. I just drag it like this and then you can see I can drop it over here and here is my text that I extract from this PDF file. Now if you want, you can also do all the editing. Okay. And then if you want, you can also highlight this text. For example, if you want to highlight, if you want to write something over here in this PDF, you can also do it. Then there is a backup option also available. If you just go back and then go to the settings icon and here you see this option of backup. So you can backup your notes as well. The next note taking app is J notes. So in J notes you can create your notes you have all your tools available so here you can see you can write on your notes if you want to use the highlighter you can use it you can use the eraser tool as well uh, the important thing about J notes is you can copy all text from a PDF file if you just go back okay and then select this plus icon import PDF okay so you can import your PDF file for example I want to import this PDF file I just select this import. So here is my PDF file. Now, for example, I want to extract text from this PDF file. So here I select this icon. Okay. So once you select it, it start converting it to text. So whatever text in your PDF file, it start converting it. And then later you can copy it and put it into your notes and you can also share it. So here you can see it extract all the text from this PDF file. Now I can copy it and I can paste it into my notes or I can also share it. The next thing is you can also backup your notes through Google Drive or OneDrive uh, and you can also do the categorization according to folders and subfolders. So here is the folder according to semester inside this folder I create subject and inside this subfolder I can make my notes. The next important thing about JNote is you can also take a screenshot of your notes. So for example I select this option of selection and I just want to take a screenshot of this part okay so I just select it like this and here you can see it is giving me the option of screenshot so I can just use the screenshot I can copy and save it and later I can use it in different notes the next note taking app is notebook so guys in notebook you can insert table so here is the pen icon just selected once you select it here you see this option of table you just select it here you can see it is showing you the insert table option just select 
selected so here you can select your tables your cells and then you can simply insert it the other thing is you can also take handwritten notes you just select this icon and here you can uh, write okay and here you also have the highlighter option as well you can also do the voice recording of your lectures so you just go back and here is the voice recording option so you can record your lectures as well once you finish you can just save it the next thing is you can also insert the videos as well so here is the video option available as well the next thing is once you finish with your note taking you can export them as pdf file so here is the option for export so for example i have this note i select these three dots so here i have this export option so you can export them as pdf you can also sync your notes you just have to go back just select these lines and here you go to the settings and then here you see you have the sync option also available the next note taking app is squid so guys in squid you can do the categorization according to your notebooks and in those notebooks you can create your notes so for example i select this plus icon i select this note option and here in the note option you have different templates available so you have this all you have standard grid then you have math and engineering music sports planners and lists so there are a lot of templates available so for example i open a new note so here you can start taking your notes once you finish with your note taking you can export them in four different formats you just select these three dots select this export option and here you can see the file format is pdf squid note png and jpeg if you want to insert a new page so it is very easy so here you see this arrow with the plus icon just select it it will add a new page and then you can move between different pages from here if you want to insert the image you select this image icon just select it and then you can add the image as well the next note taking app is bamboo paper so guys bamboo paper is very simple note taking app with very basic tools so here you can use this pen tool and then for example if you want to use the highlighter tool you can also use this tool then we have the eraser tool as well then if you want to insert some kind of image you select this image icon and then you can import image from your gallery and then if you want to move to the next page if you want to insert insert a new page you just select this up arrow and then it will add a new page okay and then you can move to the next page as well if you want to finish your work and you want to share your notes you select the share icon and then here you can see you have different platforms option available to share your notes so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much